We really had three options with our current situation. And that was to lose about 2,000 pounds on the fifth wheel, get a smaller RV, or get a bigger truck. So in continuation of last week's overweight video, was it a mistake getting the 2021 Ford F-350 diesel with the Tremor package? Now we all know hindsight is 2020, but hopefully with more knowledge, we can start to make better decisions. And I thought the Tremor was the perfect blend of off-road ruggedness and big towing capability. It had numbers like over 4,000 pounds of payload, towing 15 to 20,000 pounds, and still could go off-road through three feet of water. And here we are three years later with what once was our dream truck, now overloaded for our dream RV. So sad. So let's rewind to the beginning. We had been living in our Sprinter van for two and a half years and we had just sold it and we had never owned a heavy duty truck like this before. So we had plans of getting a 26 foot travel trailer, but because it was 2021 in the height of COVID, we had to wait six months for that to be built. Which really wasn't even that bad. No, it's pretty good considering. So part of those new big plans was spending six months with a rooftop tent overlanding in the mountains of Colorado. Pure adventure mode. So while I was truck shopping, I came across the Ford Super Duty Tremor. It had just come out the year before and I was pretty impressed. Actually, I was a little bit more than impressed. You I, were swooning. I was smitten by the Ford Tremor. I really did think it was gonna be a perfect truck for our upcoming plans. So here we were in South Florida in April. We bought the Tremor and we wanted to upfit it for the next six months. We ended up putting a solar panel on it, as well as a lithium battery, basically a whole RV electrical system. And then we threw the rooftop tent on the back, along with all of our RV stuff that we sold that we were living with in the van. Things got pretty serious pretty quickly with that truck. And it's no wonder we got emotionally attached to it so hard because it was our home on wheels. So once everything was upfitted into the new truck, we were ready to start this adventure of a lifetime. The next six months were gonna be amazing. We started out in the Smoky Mountains, going through that national park for the first time, tent camping our whole way through. We stopped back home in Minnesota for a short minute before we continued on to Colorado. It was hot, humid, and no fun living in a tent. So we quickly, quickly ran to as high an elevation as we could. Yes, because our tent did not have air conditioning. So our absolute favorite spot in the rooftop tent has to be Twin Lakes, Colorado. Yes, absolutely, Twin Lakes. All we did was hike mountains, cook on the Blackstone. That's about it. <laughs> hike mountains every single day, right? I, I think you blocked some of it out. <laughs> we did a lot more than that. So part of the cool thing about the Tremor in this rooftop tent was there was this one spot that was way up a very, very steep grade and something you wouldn't really want to ever take an RV up there. But with this Tremor and this rooftop tent, we could put it in four wheel drive, go up to the top of this mountain and overlook the Twin Lakes. It felt like we were on top of the world. It was one of the most beautiful spots that I can ever remember. Super picturesque up there. Yes. And those of you that watched our tent days, we have them all recorded so you can go back and watch them on YouTube if you want to but there was an infamous rainstorm, thunderstorm, that almost blew our complete tent away. Oh my God. We almost lost the tent. Huh. Yeah, well, it did rain every single day that we were there, and usually it was at about one o'clock or two o'clock, but this particular day, it just came in a little bit harder, didn't it? It did, it was a pretty crazy storm. So after six glorious months living in a tent. With your sweetheart. Yes, the travel trailer showed up on time, as promised, and it was great. We picked it up in Poncha Springs, and it was, probably the happiest day in our life in quite some time. It felt like a million dollar mansion. It was hard walled 
It had a bathroom. It had a really big shower, really big tanks. It was, it was our dream come true. And all that in just a 7,000 pound package. The gross vehicle weight rating on the trailer was 10,000 pounds. So we were certainly over trucked with the Tremor, the one ton diesel. It felt like we could tow that thing anywhere. And part of our huge plans was to continue boondocking, taking this smaller 26 foot travel trailer off road out west and spending the next couple years living in it. We even had plans since we had our truck all decked out. Our vision was to park our travel trailer and then take that truck and drive it into places that we couldn't take the travel trailer, spend a few romantic nights camping under the stars, and then come back to our home base at the travel trailer. Do you remember? Yeah, you know what can ruin a plan like that? <laughs> Spraining an angle? <laughs> Living in a tent for six months. You never want to go back yeah. on vacation. Okay, in that's a tent. true. But then you did spring your ankle, and yes. then we did get a puppy. So, with all of that, we never did that. We did not. We did haul around the rooftop tent and the travel trailer together for probably a good year, I want to say. Yeah. We had good intentions to use the truck and trailer and tent all together but it just didn't happen that way. Right. So some of my fond memories in the truck and the travel trailer were certainly out west, out in the desert. We did a lot of saguaro cactus camping. Mm. We did a lot of Utah red rock type of camping. Yeah. Death Valley was an amazing place to go to. And then we went to the Trona Pinnacles, one of the weirdest, most crazy spots ever to go boondocking that you would just never know are there. It was super cool. You know, that travel trailer was the ultimate small boondocking machine for us. And we went everywhere we wanted to go. So after five years of living in a sprinter van, living in a rooftop tent, living in a 26 foot travel trailer, we started to miss the home and housey type of feel. We were craving something. Yeah, yep. We definitely love the RV life, but we wanted that homey feeling, especially since we added dogs to the mix. You know, we wanted to sit back and feel like we weren't in a van or we weren't in a camper. So when we found this 33 foot full profile fifth wheel with all the residential feelings and the giant big windows, we were sold. We spent a lot of time selecting this specific floor plan and we nailed it. Yeah, and we wanted all the options too. We wanted the independent suspension and the disc brakes. We wanted dual pane windows because we live in this full time. And we wanted that washer dryer. Life changing. So all of a sudden, the gross vehicle weight rating on our smaller fifth wheel went from 15,000 pounds to 16,800. That was the max we could put into this travel trailer. So we could still keep that weight under 15,000 pounds and be good, right? Well, here we are 10 months later at 16,800 pounds. So that brings us Full circle, back to the question, was it a mistake buying the Ford F-350 trimmer? And hopefully, after we reminisce those wonderful three years that we spent in the Tremor, living basically full-time in it, I don't think it was a mistake. It was the perfect truck for us at the time. We tried to look far enough ahead to make sure that we had a truck big enough, but as sometimes things happen, it doesn't go to plan. And we went a little bigger on the RV than what we probably wanted to. And we do have our dream RV. It's sad to let go of what was our dream truck. But as life shifts and evolves, so should your dreams. So maybe we now have our current dream truck. We really had three options with our current situation. And that was to lose about 2,000 pounds on the fifth wheel get a smaller RV or get a bigger truck. One seems like a reasonable, doable option. Yeah, there's no way to lose 2,000 pounds for us 
out of this RV. It would be very, very difficult. It would be. And as you guys can tell, we absolutely love our RV. So we did end up getting a bigger truck. And it's really not physically that much bigger, although it is a little wider. That's right, we did join the Dooley Cub. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, we did join the Dooley Club. Welcome to our new tow truck, which is a 2024 Ram 3500 Dooley with the short bed. And the Mega Cab. Yes, and the Mega Cab. And it's still diesel. So we've only had our new Ram for about one month now. And because we're waiting the winter out here in South Florida, we really haven't even towed that much. We have. Uh, <laughs> about 150 miles that Chris has towed so far. Yeah. And what do you think so far? What's your initial impressions of moving to the Dooley? Oh my gosh. Okay, so first of all, let's just say I never thought I would like trucks in my life. And the Tremor changed that mindset, right? But now, I never thought a truck was cool. <laughs> <laughs> Until this truck. Like, it is a bad truck. Can I say that word? I think so. It is a really good looking truck. It's sharp, it is nice on the inside, it is smooth. It truly is a beautiful machine. And I can't wait to actually like put it to use to its full extent. Yeah, and the most important part is that we are now, again, over-trucked. We yeah. now have a truck that has way more capacity than our 33 foot fifth wheel. So we're gonna be back feeling in that real comfortable spot where we have something that can tow our home all around yeah. the country with ease. We're with gonna... ease, with power, and with safety. Yeah, and we're not gonna be put, pushing everything to the limit. And you know, as much as we love that Tremor, it was just, it was too much RV for the truck. Mm -hmm. Now there are a lot of reasons on why we went with the new Ram Dually. And I hope you guys join us all on the next video because that's what it's going to be all about. We appreciate everybody watching and we'll see you then. And it is a good looking truck, so you're going to want to see it. Ever wonder where the name Irene Iron Travels comes from? It's actually named after my online fitness and nutrition coaching business, Irene Iron Fitness. I help people move better, feel better, and eat better with strength training and real food. No fad diets no harsh restrictions, no counting calories, and absolutely no processed food in a package. If you want to get stronger and feel better at any age, check the description below for the links with my new client special, or join in on our next and upcoming group challenge.